Well, a very good evening and welcome back to Scotland for the Lean to Succeed Scottish International Open. Well, it's the last of the quarterfinals. On the TV rink is Greg Harlow and he's facing Darren Burnett. Well, the trial ends have been done and the players are ready, so let's go to the rink and bring on the Jack. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> the driver of the car is 13-year-old Rory Mann. Oh, I think he's been drinking. Here it comes. Flying down the green towards who's going to get this. Oh, oh that's a absolutely precision. Slightly wide on the forehand, but <laughs> he's got to get it back now. There it goes. That's not bad for a 13 year old, is it? Oh. <laughs> oh. It's harder when you've got to go that way because you've got to do the controls the other way. I thought he was going to crash at half five, mate. Yeah. You can probably tell in the commentary box with me this evening, all the way from Australia, Blake Nairn. Good evening, Blake. Thanks for having me again, mate. Oh, our Jack pleasure. Nice 28 and a half metres. Thoroughly enjoyed it in here last night. Good. Yeah, good laugh. Well, a good game. Darren's quickly changed to his black top, just been delivering milk tray. And uh, Greg, both of these have played on the, the TV rink during this competition. Out on the uh, outside rink there, rink number three, we've got uh, Jason Banks playing Mark Dawes. The live scoring is in operation. I pinned it to the top of the uh, Facebook there for... Uh, the World Bowls Tour. Click that and you can see the other greens. But we will shout them out for you as well in case you don't have that facility. Every probably three or four ends. Uh, should be a pretty good game here. Both the fellas have been bowling uh, pretty pretty damn good. And if you are following us on Facebook, both Blake and I have got the Facebook open. I'm going to ask Blake a question, then uh, just pop it in the comments there and... Uh, Oh, we'll try and answer them for you. Darren seems on very early in the pace. Yeah, I mean he's got these 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 aces really really suited him in his in his last game. I said that before. Even though it's a, a strong rink, as in a, a really swingy rink, I still think the, the stronger bowls are performing well. Yeah, I'm a bit biased. As an Aussie, we always use. Tight bowls. Polk, as we call them. Uh, very tight bowls, but um, yeah, the, the boys over here seem to love the, the, the more swoopy bowls. So I guess it's each to their own, really. I just find sometimes, especially more in the Northern Hemisphere, yeah, the, the, the weaker bias bowl, I think it just limits you sometimes, maybe just a draw or slightly more attacking. I know that's what you were playing last night. I mean, you nearly smashed the club to pieces, but... <laughs> Darren was getting getting too close. Yep. But I've got to admit, he, he, he loves a drive too. He he hit five from five, I hit five from five. And, yeah, he, he played very well against me. It was probably my best game in the PBO over this side. And, oh, really? yeah, got me by two, got me by one. So, maybe it's fourth time the charm. <laughs> He's, he's on fire here, isn't he? He is. A question in already. Wayne Roberts there from South Africa, winner of the Cape Town qualifier. Um, speed of the carpet, 17 and a half seconds here, Wayne. And when you come to Potter's results in uh, January, it'll be a bit quicker than that, probably 19. Little touch and then back to the jack. Good effort. semi-final hasn't been decided yet at the end of this session all four winners will go on to the green and pick their ball out for tomorrow I actually like the fact that you guys redraw it after yeah. every round it, it, it makes it for a lot more even draw yep so it comes down to, to fate whether whether you get a, a top seed or a lower seed it's good
Mr. Aaron Tees is watching all the way from New, New South Wales. Hopefully it's not too bad for you, buddy. Must be late there now, no? Or, or early, is it morning? I think it's early morning over there. Mrs. Dunwoody says, have your kids got you out of bed? <laughs> <laughs> well, Greg. Greg on the run again. Looking for that little split, isn't he? I mean, if he gets the shorter of the two balls first, you flick it across. Ooh. Good effort. It's a little on the high side. One shot, Darren Burnett. So, Zero opening wood goes to Darren Burnett. Of course, uh, you're back, back over in Jan? Yeah, back over in January for the, the World Singles. Um, sh should be a good, hopefully, a better run this time. Back down 29 and a half metres. Jason Banks. Oh, okay. I've been watching a bit of his bowls, and he's been on a, on a bit of a heater. He's been bowling real good. Bit of a heater. Bit of a heater. They call it. On a bit of a roll. Oh, okay. Put him on, 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 on fire. Okay, yeah, okay. No. Needs to run a yard. Fair reply by Mr. Mr. Harlow after a couple of runners. Needs to run again. Just get right up to his own. So the, the, the first two players through to the semi-final, Stuart Anderson and uh, Jamie Walker. Yep, that's correct. They were two pretty good uh, quarterfinals. Stuart went down to a tiebreaker. You did. Down the last end. Very last end. Very a, last bowl, yeah. It was a cracking cracking game. I was down there watching. It was good. Darren on the run. And he threw himself after it. Oof. Close. <laughs> Wish he missed one against me. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Ahoy watching from New South Wales. How you going, brother? Well, Greg will look at just trying to get one in, but without thickening the target. Try to tuck in behind somewhere. Looking all right here. Centre rink will be good. Just needs to bend that fraction more. Lucky. Three, three very nice bowls, but... Bit of a target. You can play it down the backhand. Oh, he'll go. He gets them all. He'll go forehand. See. He does prefer the forehand. I, mean, I suppose if he plays the forehand slightly tight, he can work back off his own bowl. You've got a lot of options there, and they all line up. They can all disappear. The middle one might lock in, but depends on how big he goes. All right, Chase, backhand. Looking for all of them. No. Nope. It was a forehand shot, Chase.
set score for one after two wins. Uh, Mr. Bowles from South Africa. It is closer to the 17 mark, not 18 and a half. Coming from first hand experience playing on there. Um, just looks like it's running quicker because they're using super wide bowls. But it's probably close to the 17 then. Craig's right up with this mat. Just, uh, just a couple of yards left to go. Try and plonk it on the tee. Call it a kitty. What do you call it in Australia? Jack length, 25 and a half jack, meters. White. A kitty, a jack. Call it same as us then. Yeah. Anything you want. Same, same. There's young Rory there, 13 years of age. He's a, a great bowler himself. He was driving the car. And he's now on the scoreboard. Did an excellent job yesterday. It's good seeing the young ones out and about having a, having a go. Volunteering. His father plays for Scotland. I think, if I'm correct, I think he's won quite a few titles with Neil Spears, maybe, I think, as well, who is also a fabulous player. A bit of a loose start. It's good to see a bit of a crowd down watching. Mm. Makes for a, for a very good atmosphere for, for bowls. question coming about how we are playing tomorrow we have the uh, semi-finals first semi-finals will be uh, 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. And, uh, they'll be on Facebook YouTube and uh, BBC iPlayer the main final of the Scottish International Open will be around about four o'clock and then in between the two semi-finals we have the pleasure of hosting and showing the final of the uh, the Scottish Youth Young Masters final and we have Bastin McKechnie I think it's pronounced from Inverclyde, uh, facing Blair Gourlay from. So they're two very young, talented players. That'll be at two o'clock for that Scottish Youth final. Full house tomorrow, so the atmosphere is going to be absolute top notch. Bit of a loose head from the boys here. Expect it wouldn't take them long to get close again. Had some Scottish lessons. It's Aston McKechnie, not McKechnie, McKechnie. Thank you, Anne, for teaching me some good Scottish. <laughs> yeah. I struggle enough with English. <laughs> but you, I think in Australia, you use a lot of slang. <laughs> a lot of slang. Yeah. Good to see. 626 people on Facebook watching mm. all around the world. Yeah, thank you for joining us. Thank you for your continued support as always as well. Just a few nervous ones here, it seems. Yes, I, I, it's personal things, but I always think the evening session is the hardest because I think the green noticeably changes speed at some point because obviously the temperature drops. I mean, last night it dropped to about two degrees. It was a bit nippy outside. So, Darren. Again, just attacking this. Was looking for a bear jack. Didn't favour the draw. That may just give you that. I mean, if it's a bit of sports psychology, it may just give you a rough idea of what how confident maybe he's feeling at that moment in time. Actually, back on the drive a bit more than the draw. 
So the score there, Jason Banks 2-1 ahead against Mr. Dawes with the three ends. They're just ever so slightly ahead of this one. That's a lovely scoreboard. It's like the old yeah. cricket days. Putting up the numbers, putting up the next batter. Yep. Do you have a good uh, youth section over in Australia? You must have a lot of good development going on for the youth. Personally, in WA, not really, but a lot of good young bowlers in Australia. Yep. Like, real good. Like some, If we had to make an under-25, like a squad of 12 or 16, I reckon I'd give any squad a, a run for their money. But a lot of good good players coming through. Yeah, it's all about sponsorship, isn't it? I know the Scottish youth... Uh Committee in that they're active. That's score six one after three. Sure it's sponsor, you know, so everybody wants to get involved with the, the youngsters of the sport. Just drop me a message and I can put you in touch with the right people. Again, Matt up, serving him well. Jack Lane, 28 metres. Shot here. Yeah, good adjustment. Seems to have found his line pretty good. Playing with a slightly more narrower bias ball than what Darren is. He's playing with his Tiger 2s. Darren's with his aces. Darren just seems to be fiddling around a little bit with his weight. Can't really find it. But Greg's just honed in real early. A very good delivery, Greg. Very methodical. Very consistent. Very consistent. Does the same. Not a lot changes. Gets it out pretty smooth. Just having a good look at this, I'm not sure what he what he's going to play. I mean, it all depends on how many shots he think he is. You know, I don't think he's, he's drawing well. I think he's just going to have a run at this, Do try to clip it out, somehow jam it to the back. Might get at a respot. 
One down, one up. Just hasn't found his line in his weight yet for the draw, so I think he's just going to fire. Oh, yeah. Good track here. That was the result. Oh, Probably my the worst goodness. Result. Yeah. My goodness. Ouch. It's rolled off. Put that much backspin on the jack, then it rolled off the spot. Nearly dropped it from the hip. <laughs> <laughs> I know how that feels. <laughs> Three. That's might be four, you know. That's a stiff result. That'd be a dreadful result. Are you going to measure that? I'm going to measure that. Let's have a. Can you see the board, Blake? I can't see it from here. I think it's four one on four. Over on the, the, the outer ring. To Jason. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Here, we, here we go. To Jace. Yep. Mark Allison there, the club president. Or as I like to call him, Uber Mark. Yes, he's, he's been uh, your he's, taxi driver, hasn't he? He's been picking us up from the airport, driving us to the, the motel and back. Four to Greg. Yeah, lovely fella. Picking us up. Great hospitality. So it's four ten, one after four ends. When do you head home, Blake? Um, yeah, we're on twenty-eight a meters. Two o'clock uh, flight tomorrow. Two o'clock in the afternoon. In the afternoon, yeah. By a, by a Doha. By Doha. Um, I won't be buying a coffee because I got stung 18 bucks last time. I saw the picture. I thought, what a silly fool. Just look, check, I didn't check do the, the conversions. I didn't do the conversions. But um, they must have seen, seen us coming. <laughs> There's a reason why the Middle East is one of the richest countries in the world. <laughs> $18, dollars $18 coffee will do it. <laughs> I think uh, Darren just needs to tr just try to draw his way back into the game. I think uh, he just needs to extend this set, keep keep himself in this set for as long as possible. Try to keep Greg out there. Yeah, get his get his length. Yeah. Try to work on a tactic on how you're going to get him in the second set. Greg seems very cool, calm and collected. On Greg's ball, 10 inches. What's your thoughts on uh, Aaron Sheriff coming over for the World Singles? It's going to be good. I good think for so. Supporters. Yeah, no, I'm chuffed to pieces that he's coming over. You know, I know. You guys in Australia, you've got you have so many different uh, events to play in. I know you've got a really, really busy calendar. So no, I'm uh, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, it's uh, something a bit different. You know, he's uh, arguably one of the best at the moment. I think uh, on uh, on the circuit for you guys. You know, he, great in Australia, he, he, he's the goat. He's yeah. the, the top of the wazza. Him and Shrain are probably the two standouts in Australia. Yep. Um, it's good to see him over. Going to have a crack against the, the, the UK and the Scottish. And got a difficult, else. Yeah, he's got a difficult draw, hasn't he, Paul Foster? Yeah, it's a hard one first up. But, you know, you know I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, I'm really pleased he's coming. And I hope he's, you know, looking forward to it as well. Yeah, yeah well, I think he would be. It'd be a good challenge for him. I think winning everything in Australia could get boring. Maybe try to win a win something like that would probably top off a pretty pretty stellar career he's had so far. Yeah, and I've always said for a long time, you know, how long it is until another overseas player breaks into that top 16. There's been no one really since uh, you got Neil Furman was all around that kind of uh, top 16 area. Obviously, Shuey. Yeah. Kelvin. Kelvin. Sklassen. 
Was Steve, there? not was quite, not in my ear. I'm not quite right. sure. I wouldn't like to say for sure, but not, yeah. It's the first time we've seen Greg have a bit of a nibble here. He needs to bend. I've be, been asking you for tips on the portable rink because it's a different, as you know, it's a different animal. Yeah, it is. It is a tricky green to play on. Um, no, he hasn't. Nope. <laughs> um, yeah, I've, I've, I'm looking forward to watching him over there. Yep. It'll, it'll be good. Be good for the spectators because he, he is next level. Yeah. He, he his weight control is a one. And just resetting himself there. Down the forehand. Good shots, Darren Burnett. Set score 10-4 after five ends. Quick question there about uh, Aaron Chef. The way the, the World Singles works out is you have the top 16, you then have your PBA qualifiers uh, from all the PBA branches around the world. Uh, the sponsor gets two sponsors' choices. Okay, 29 minutes. Alex Marshall, MBE, Harry Goodwin. He's a very talented, young, up and coming uh, under 25 player. Well, I say up and coming, you know, he's won under 25 world titles and many, many national titles. Uh, and we also have a part of the, the, the WBT is the IIBC, is that the World Indoor Bowls Council Singles, which uh, was held out in Warilla. Warilla, New South Wales. Yeah, and uh, Aaron Sheriff won that. So they get an invite every year. That's part of the deal. And uh, I mean, the last few years, people like, I think that's how Michael Stepney managed to get in. Julie Forrest has won that uh, a couple of times. So yeah. So through winning that WIBC. It's, the last few years, I think it's been a couple of UK players that uh, have, won it, yes. have won that. I think so. It, it hasn't made a noticeable change. I mean, now it's a an Aussie. Um, it's a bit more obvious in the draw, but uh, I love it. I love seeing the overseas players come. Darren finding his line, line good. Uh, Harlow's just, his weight's gone off a little bit. It's important, isn't it, when you're racing to a, a big lead early on, just to keep that mind switched on. Sometimes it's hard just to, to, to keep the pedal to the metal and <laughs> try to keep the foot on the throat, as, as you'd say. Um, well played. A lot of people seem to get into a, a bit of a habit of trying to chase shots when you when you got a lead sometimes you just gotta keep doing what you're doing just keep drawing them off keep the ball, balls close and this isn't easy the shorter balls is causing a little bit of trouble so obviously dead draw both hands available Jake Leslie, uh, Sheriff, he's going over to the world singles at Potters. Mr. Alex Marshall is watching all the way from Australia, I think. I think. Yeah, is he in Australia? Australia? Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's in Australia yeah, for the for the BPL. Sure is. Playing for the Pine Pine Rivers Pirates. Seems to be enjoying it as well. Fair, Touch. Fair shot here. Oh, good bowl. Puts it down to one. Oh, 
Darren. Six inches to make another one. Uh, California mate Lauren Dion. He is not playing the pairs. Just the just the singles. Oh, bit of bit of a loose head. Craig's looking at lots of different angles here. I don't know whether I mean ten three. Just draw down the backhand. Still looking at maybe a yard on the forehand, trying to pop him out or edge him out. Greg, uh, Greg also likes a bit of a bit of a nibble. He does, yeah. He, he doesn't mind reaching. Both these guys uh, have a pretty good runner in their arsenal, which is always good. Playing bowl, bowl onto it. Okay. And up down the forehand, looking to promote that bowl. The inside edge of his nearest bowl. Fair crack here. He's nearly got this, you know. Oh, whoa. Whoa, oh that went quick. Wow. That went very quick. Hey, if he had a tighter set of bowls, he would have got that. It's amazing how some like how much some of these bowls turn. Like uh Paul Foster's Tigers, they were swooping. So they're just normal for us, you see. <laughs> Pokers out. Because you guys used to playing on seven second grass. <sighs> you need something to turn. <laughs> That's three and a half seconds that way and three and a half seconds maybe that way, maybe. <laughs> And that's efforts downhill. <laughs> so ten five. I think Jason Banks is leading nine two on seven. So I'm going against Mark. Good start by Darren. Good reply after a runner. Oh, great ball. You hold. Little smirk by Darren. I think he was a bit surprised he still had shot. <laughs> now doesn't want the top edge of it. Wants, wants to miss it now. One way. So the gap on the ball and the jack is one inch. Okay. And Darren's, Darren's ball, the gap is three inches. This ball. Okay. This one. That one. The gap on this ball, two and a half inches. This is just half an inch past jack height. Ryan Burnett tuning in from uh, sunny Brisbane, watching his brother brother throw a couple of close rocks.
back off that. It's good. He's got Greg's other ball out of the head. Gives him an option to get him clean now for a two or a three. It's a lovely looking Henselite shirt with a tiger on the front. Yeah, there's a couple of... There's a red, green, orange, blue. They look pretty smart. Quite nice. A bit tame for you Aussies now. Oh, no, it still looks good. Might not be too good out in the hot weather, the black absorbing yeah. the heat, but still good. Lee Birch, it's uh, two sets of nine ends with a three end tiebreaker if needed. Jason Banks has just won the first set against Mark Dawes. Darren needs to bend. Here it comes. Needs to bend. A little bit disappointed there. You know, it was a very unfortunate shot that gave that away, wasn't it? He played a really good bowl and another good bowl, but just got backside of his shot bowl. Be a little bit uh, disheartened. Maybe we'll try and add to this count. decided to take it I think I don't think he backed himself to draw another one within an inch and declared oh, yeah. that score, look at the score lines seven. no point in risking nah, it is there? you don't want to risk bumping it dropping a two give him a sniff I did like the confidence him going to the mat ready to try to draw one within an inch yeah that and then he thought to himself, maybe not. Maybe not. I think of that when I'm a when I've got a meter to draw shot. <laughs> Check length twenty four and a half meters. Darren will need to score at least a pair. Uh, James, the speed of greens in, in, in Australia vary depending on what type of grass you're playing on, whether you're playing on a synthetic. Uh, they, they range during a summer day and, and Dry, dry weather, you're looking at probably 15 to 19, depending on where you're playing. Yeah, good ball again. the back of the jack still sat behind the other side without touching. I still find it interesting that Greg only plays indoor bowls and no outdoor bowls. In Australia everyone kind of plays a bit of everything. Indoor, outdoor, it's all that, kind that, of... That's because your greens are far superior to our greens. I mean, um, I hate outdoor bowls in this country. It's just hurl them. Hurl them straight down the middle. You don't have any plastics or anything you can play on? 
Well, like artificial, like, like yeah. Astro Tours? There's an artificial 10 minutes away from me. Uh, great speed. Lines are atrocious. Fair effort. The big sweepy bowl just took him underneath a little bit. Well, Darren, a little bit of a chance here. Take the two bowls away. Yes. Gives him at least the pair he needs to take it into the final end of this set. He'll, he'll be reaching. Might be trying to get the plant, maybe the short one through. Nope. I can. <laughs> I don't know much about bowls. It's a bit of help. Finish it. There you go. He just played it on the opposite hand to what I was thinking. There you go. Look. Bang, bang. There's the two. A bit of, a bit of fortune there for Darren. Side edge of the mat. Natural delivery. Needs to just hit something. Needs to hold for the kitty. I don't think he wanted to go to the last end, so it's just trying to rip one out, put him under a bit of pressure. Don't give him that extra end to get his draw back before the before the second set. Paul Butler. I don't mind dabbling in a bit of uh, commentary. Not very good at it, but I like to try. Can Darren chuck a third one in to give him a, a sniff? We settle in time. He misses that and then bends. Yes. Lovely shot. Lovely shot. Well... Within touching distance of Greg. It's going to eight. That's a good important shot there. Just looking for decent pace either side of the uh, the length bowl. In it goes. Needs another at least three. I think he'd be more than happy to tie this set. Yeah, looking I think if, the he score. Gets, if he gets a tie here, he will be thinking he's he's won the lotto. I reckon. From being uh, ten, 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 ten two down. Meters. 10-2, 10 10-3? 10 10-1. 10-1. 10-1 after four. Oh, if you get a draw of being that far behind, you've uh, you, you've created a miracle nearly. Because against these guys, they're, uh, they're A1 on the carpet. There's a few early watches of the stream. The old saying, the early bird gets the worm. Sure, why you'd want the worm, yeah. but anyway, that's just all Australian saying makes yep. you get up and early. You know, birds they're first up trying to get the worm, all the other birds get them, I guess. Not really sure. <coughs> yeah, two good opening bowls. 
having a look at just trying to pat this head out and just try and give himself, try and create something for a triple, or even, um, even more, yes. would be great. But uh, yeah, he'll be looking to try and just get balls in that area and just hope something appears for him. So he's going to throw him in the air and hopefully, uh, hopefully something, something comes, comes there for an option. He turns his back on that. Yeah, what? The... <laughs> <laughs> I turned my back on it. You know, it's going to be like six feet away. <laughs> he gave that up quite early. Maybe he thought it was tight and it held a bit. I'm not sure. Maybe it was a tactical. <laughs> yeah, thing. psychological. Throw, throw the head up, throw the rag. Front knocker, got to put off your opposition. Not sure. I don't think he's that way inclined, but Greg's just gone off the draw a little bit the last couple of ends, and Darren's just just moved his way a little bit closer to the jack. Brett Spur, I did use uh, Dreamline XGs because the green was running quite nice. Um, yeah, it played played good enough to use Dreamline XGs. But the, most of the UK and uh, Scottish people love using the the tourney balls, the swoopers. Well, Greg is in trouble. Up this set, I have nearly sewn up, but uh, Darren is. Buying a pair here. Still a ball to come. Would have thought he might have just gone the run on the forehand to rip two of them off the rink, so he can't win. But he's backing himself to, to draw it stone cold. Not a good line. Needs to bend with fair effort. Good shot. Is he going to lay down? It'll go. It's looking like it. That might have cut out the, the, the short one. Stephen McFarlane. Yes, Greg Harlow's shirt is a Henselite shirt. Because I do believe he's a sponsored Henselite player. And uh, Darren's using the Taylor Bowls and the Taylor shirt. Well, Darren, what can you conjure up? I'm not quite sure. If he's had a look at it. If it's two, he will just draw. If it's not two, would he dare play that forehand and just try and get between his own bowl and the jack, remove Greg's bowls? He's looked at it, so he'll know. I think he may be lying the pair. Let's see if this comes down with a draw pace. Got a bit of a trot on. So it must be in the general area. Gonna get down. What a cracking shot here. Now, can he fall get to the jack? Oh. Depend. Is he holding three to ask the question? Well, you see here, a couple of options. Darren's had a look at it, so he's just saying, well, I'm just gonna draw another good one and put Greg right under pressure and say, well, you're going to have to play your last ball to save this set. I think that's Darren's best set of the game, too. He's finally homed in on the jack a little bit, got his weight. Yep. I don't think he's played a drive for three ends. I don't he's think... Just, I think he's just gotten back to the draw, gone back to the basics. Yep. Greg's... Yeah. No, Greg's saying no. So, just, the t just the two. Darren, that one... Ricardo won the first yeah, set, no, 11, just the two. to 10. Okay, it was a good effort by Darren to, to fight back into that game, back into that set. Hmm. I wonder whether Darren was trying to just draw and just have a little touch on the jack, maybe. I think he probably need another three inches, a little touch, maybe lay on the jack for three. Lay on the jack, yes, you're right. It was a fair effort, though. Yep. So into the second set. As you can see there, Jason Banks, Mark Dawes, well, they're having a very close second set there. Two all after two. Hang on, Jason Banks has just scored. And the whole three. 
two after three. Um, Dale Hudson, Jack, no, piece of advice that you have received ultimately helped your game. One of the best ones is littering on the inside. <laughs> That's a good one. Have you had any professional development for your game? Um, I had a bit of coaching when I was a junior. Um, uh, recent times, probably not. Um, I had a bit of coaching for my backhand drive. I was struggling on a couple of years ago and, and fixed that. So most things not too bad. Yeah, it is all about the delivery and, and, and videoing yourself, isn't it? You know, David Bryant did a, a piece once. I remember speaking with him saying about if you ever see any of the old videos of David Bryant, you know what I'm talking about, when we all played two balls. When Bryant, obviously he had two very different styles of delivery, one for the draw, one for the drive. When he played the backhand drive, he used to put his two feet together side by side on the mat. And then you'll notice with the forehand, he'll put his left leg ever so slightly forward of his body to automatically turn his body to get that delivery. Yeah, you watch, if you see some videos about you just watch him play that forehand drive. Left leg slightly forward of the right leg. Backhand, both together. <laughs> my biggest thing is my foot. It was my foot placement. I just had to move my left foot an inch to the left, and I was following through a lot better. Strange and tip. Yeah. It straightened me up a little bit. Again, great opening bowls from both players. between these two balls is two inches and two inches on your ball. Good call from the marker. The markers here are very precise. They are. It's, it's great for the game. Greg will play the, the forehand. I mean, probably ideal shot is to finish right behind the jack on the centre line for another. Or if you can get nicely nestled in just behind that front bowl of Darren's. Doesn't want us to stick wide and short. Might be just far enough away. Might might be counting. It's a pretty good weighted bowl. in that shirt before, that Taylor shirt. Is it, looks like, is it, is it, if it's the Jack moving, is it? I don't know. He's going quick at this. He's going for a file. Yep. His own bowl onto the pair. Oh! <laughs> wow! Didn't see that. Let's look at that again. He's ideally looking for his own bowl onto the plant, but he's ever so slightly underneath. Look at that angle. Yeah, just, he yeah, had good weight to, to peel out a few bowls, which is good. He'll leave Greg a foot and a half to draw a counter. Yeah. Sits back, it's in. I, 
deep grip on that Henselite bowl, that mega grip as they call it. Very, very deep grip. All the uh, all the manufacturers are trying this new deeper grip over here for people to be able to hold the bowls more, still keep with a decent sized bowl, but hold it better. Hence, I've got that mega grip. Um, Drake, Drake's Pride have um, a Pro 50. Pro 50? Yeah. I've so seen the Drake's one. Yeah, the Pro that's, 50. That's massive. Yeah. That's deep. So the 50 is it's how many indentations there are around the grip. So they'll do a Drake's Pride Professional has 40 dimples around the outside okay. of the bowl. A, uh, a Pro 50, as it, yeah, it does, does what it says yeah, yeah, yeah. on the tin, has 50 indentations. Wow. Yeah. And then you've got the fine line that will have 30. Darren firing again. Got one. And he's gone back to running, which is interesting. Just got his draw back. Be interesting to s like if you drove it a bowl with a fifty, whether it would uh, take a little chunk out of your bowl, maybe. You mean on the corner? Yeah, like because it's got quite a sharp little corner on. You'll be okay. See you strike. Ouch. <laughs> I'm very joking. I think I, ha I, think I got I another 10% in me. That <laughs> <laughs> were coming out pretty good last night. They were coming out swift. I think Mark Dawes has uh, just hit the front over there, over on uh, the second second ring, the outer ring. around a little bit this evening Darren that's fair to say well, I found it like he did in the earlier game of the day no played well maybe maybe as you were saying before the the later game the change of um, atmosphere hmm. the, the coldest maybe it's just the the carpets changed a little bit this looks better Shot here. One Well, Darren, getting a little spot of bother, just makes consistency really. Just looking to land on this, release the jack, just under it. Just dipping, dipping early. Does he open it up? Oh. Wonder whether Greg will leave that. Lay down the forehand, cover those bowls. Darren will play the same shot again. Was a little surprised Darren didn't change around to the forehand and just try to just draw up to it. 
Mm. Couple of options in there. I mean, a second prize could turn this jack, I guess. Just gets Might make it up. easier for Darren, though. Depends on how much he gets. Oh, it's a lovely shot. It may go quicker, maybe. Push that shorter ball into the split. Don't know. Still looks like... Just depends on what the angle is now on that release, that shot he was playing. he plays forehand there is a risk of taking his own out and dropping a four so I think he might still maybe stick to the backhand trying to make a little little bit of connection I have been known to be wrong a lot a lot <laughs> <laughs> Very close here. What a shot. And he's pushed his own ball. If that stays in the rink, pushed it into a good place. He's looking for There's lots of different connections here. That's a fair strike. Yep. And just slightly misses the front one. Gets the shot on the jack. What a made. What a made. Yeah. I don't know. Could have been. That's could be two. Two, Darren? Two on a measure? What are you measuring? Is that no. one in or out? No. I don't know if that one was in the ring or not, on that break move. I think it's time to grab the garden hose. What does that mean? Oh, a, long, a long measure. Oh, okay. A long measure. <laughs> Do you not like some of my the Aussie slang? Well, Aussie ah. slang's good. Yeah, I just don't understand it. <laughs> I think you're going to hose the green down. Right, here come the... Uh, Fish, fishing they, wire. They normally come in 25 metre increments. Is it? Garden it is? Hoses, yeah. Is it? Okay. A long measure. God, I'll sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Here we go. Let's have a look at this. So, the fixed one at the end, fixed little dabber, and then the string will pass through this one, held together with the thumb. Looks like a bit of dental floss. No. Nope. Your race horse. Mm, let's have a look. You'll be able to tell almost straight away, I think. Let's have a look if you don't snap the wire. Yeah. Didn't think it was him. The double checking? Yeah, That's you good. have to go That's back, good. don't you? Yeah. Okay, just, just in case there's a bit of movement. Just in case it slips or moves. One. One to Darren. That other ball must have been out the side of the ring yeah. then. Must have gone out of bounds. Get unfortunate for Darren. Still a good hit. That score one hit. after two hits. Wasn't a lot of margin for error there. I think that'll give him a bit of confidence going into the next few ends. Jack length, 30 metres. Almost a full length jack, 30 metres. It's 30 and a half is the maximum possible playable length. And good start.
Great start by Darren. I didn't realise he was a police officer. Yeah. Lovely shot here. The last one, please. The gap is four inches. Two great balls. Lovely start. I think that'll give him a bit of confidence. Mm, yeah, I think maybe string two or three ends together, maybe. I think he was scratching in the first set, and now he's just settled down a bit. Got a couple close, giving giving him confidence. Well, line looks good. This forehand is a really good hand. It's just the pace, I think. I'm pretty good. Just the pace. Oh. Lovely line. Another lovely ball here. <coughs> Trying to turn that around the corner. It's in for three. It's a lovely set again. It's quite a quite a tight head. All more or less on the centre line as well. Not much of a target. Nope. Not much of a sighter neither. Greg will just be drawing down to that jack high bowl with a, maybe four or five inches of a shelf to sit on. It's going to hold up enough. Darren seems to be walk walking with a bit more of a strut. Yep. A bit more pepping in the step. Going for a bit of protection out to the side. Got in this spot, isn't he? Wants to stop now. I think Greg will just back himself to draw this. He had good weight with his last. Just got to throw it on a high line. Well, not far away if it bends. If it bends. Oh. <laughs> Tried hard to get down. Three, I think. Three. 
There it is. Set score, 1 4 after 3 ends. Cheers, yeah. 4 1 to Darren in this set. Still 6 ends to go. Jack length 29 and a half meters. Let's have a quick look on the other. Jason Banks has run out to a 10-4 a lead on seven ends. Yeah, that's my goodness. This was 4-3, four, three, four, wasn't three, it? 4-3 about two ends ago. Yeah, so it was 4-3 a couple of minutes ago. Hmm, new kid on the block. Wouldn't it be funny? Well, not funny, I don't think. Wouldn't it be interesting if we end up with the same finals as we ended up in the World Singles? Because <laughs> that's possible, Jamie Walker and Jason Banks. Ah, they, that would be interesting. It would be incredible, really, absolutely incredible. Good starter again by Darren. Seems a little more relaxed now than he did in the first set. Yeah, I, th I think you are when you're playing better, aren't you? You yeah. know, you kind of just relax out. a little bit better. Yeah, you feel better about yourself. And you know when you let it go, it's going to be a little bit closer than it was. Yeah. In front of the door, please. 11 inches in front of Jack Hyde. Quite a few banks that are, are very handy bowlers. Yeah, you've got Carla, Colin, Colin Angela. Yeah, a good pedigree. It certainly is. Good bowling pedigree. Competitive pedigree as well. What you want. Carl Carlson. Yes, most of the top line bowlers have jobs um, either at a bowling club or their own businesses or or degrees or whatever they have. It's, it's hard to make a living out of bowls. There's not quite enough money to make a full-time job of it. Maybe in the future sometime. Lovely lawn bowl. Yeah, it'd be nice. It's, it's where players that people that watch and comment. It's where they need to be a bit more savvy about what people put, I think. Sometimes yeah. I find you look at some streams, whether things are perfect or not, there's always improvements to be made in, in any country in the world with a sport. But I think the way, because when obviously my job is to try and sell. Sell balls. Sell it. Yep. Um, Especially to broadcasters and sponsors. I remember one conversation I had where they were watching various clippets and they said, Quite an interesting sport, all they do is moan. <laughs> yes. Um, 
So we've got to be careful. That's why I say on social media can be your best friend, but also a bit dangerous. Yes, and that's people, and that's the hard thing. Yeah, people are looking in. They're you know, wanting to invest. They don't want to see everybody moaning about the sport. Why they're wearing shorts? Why they're wearing the same shoes? Why they're playing with the same ball? You know. <laughs> I, th I think it's a great thing that bowls is being streamed out to everyone around the world. Correct. Sometimes the coverage skits it out. It's technology. You can't have. It, it's not perfect. It's nope. hard to get it perfect. Ooh. Big miss. So, yeah, I think it's just good having um, having bowl streamed is is fantastic. It just gets the sport out there a little bit more every time. Hopefully, people uh, just keep watching. Set score one seven after four ends. It looks like uh, Jason Banks has just won the game over on the other rink. Off already, are they? Yes, they are. Off already. Congratulations, Jason. Thank you. Commiserations to Mark Dawes. Had a had a good run so far. That nice twenty nine and a half meters. Beauty of sets. Sometimes you can just reset yourself. And, uh, it's amazing how many times you see the game of balls in sets completely spin on its head. And, that, and that's the best thing about it. Like sometimes you get off to a bit of a rough start, work your way back into it, win the second set, and then it's it's down to a tiebreaker. Great opener from Greg. It'll be interesting to see if uh, Greg comes back as um, as good as Darren did in the first set. Asking who's in. So on to Greg. Almost dead level with the jack. Mark McKay, definitely a future world champion. Pretty close this year with a silver. Oh, great. What ball. a lovely shot. Question in there, Dale Hudson. Which player has spent the longest time in the top 16? Uh, David Gourlay, I believe. He certainly played the most World Bowl Store matches. It's David Gourlay quickly followed by Mervyn, maybe.
think David's been in 30 years, I think. 30 years? I think so, something like that. <laughs> Probably before I was born. <laughs> That's a long time. Looking good again. To ease. Oh, yeah, Lovely that's good shot, too. Darren. Don't forget, David Gourlay won the World Singles in 1996. Wow. Looked impressed at that. That's a long time. Mm. Wow. That was at Preston Guildhall. List there, a lot of We've got a very good list. Some little doodlings in my book. Stats and stuff. So it hasn't always been at Potters? No. Nope. Right. It was at uh, Cote Bridge, and, uh, just not far from here, down the road in Scotland there. Then it was uh, Preston Guildhall, and it went to Potters Resorts. That's pretty cool. It's good that it's moved around a little bit. I think it was at Ali Pali one year, I think. Oh, Greg. What a shot. Greg. A fair crack. So Alex Marshall's so won one a few times after five for the World Singles. He has, yeah. I think Hugh Duff won it at Alexandra Palace, I think. Thank you. Dark length, 29 and a half metres. Found his found his groove. He has on a roll, on a sausage roll. <laughs> I think a tiebreaker would be good for the crowds. That's a fair reply by. Uh, I was watching something. We got distracted by a pretty colour. Your Jack High. Greg's ball is five and a half inches in front of Jack High. Just asking the question so we can just build a mental picture of what it looks like in his head. That will decide the shot. Open it up a little bit for uh, Greg One to now, Greg. play something. The back ball, yeah. Yeah, some fantastic balls once again being played. shot there. Fantastic. This is a pretty decent head. <laughs> Cracking replay.
Oh, Darren. Straight through this. It's a fair stroke. Boom. A lovely shot. Where's the jack? Stayed in. Yeah, he took out my trophy. See you there looking. He probably, I think he wanted it slightly more to the right, but it was still an absolutely fantastic hit. Now, the trouble is, see where his ball's travelling to. I'm just looking for the spot. He may still be one, Greg. Ah, oh, there we go. The question came through there about overseas winners. Yes, we've had one overseas winner of the World Number Bowls Championships. That was Ian Shoeback of Australia in 1992. He did a kangaroo bounce thing right down the middle of the guild hall. <laughs> I think he's in the Australian Hall of Fame. Yep, quite right. So. He did a lot of commentary as well. Greg deciding to play across the rink. It'd be quite difficult sometimes to play cross rink. Yes. Especially on an outdoor green. Most people normally go just to, out to the peg and to let her drift in. Absolutely. Maybe just well more played. confident. What a shot. That's absolutely superb. Why play the other side when you know this side? <laughs> Fantastic. Now, there's a little touch on the jack. Let's see when the camera pans out whether that is one in, one out. It may have been a little bit unlucky with that touch on the jack. He's got his hands on his hips and a shake of the head. I think you'd take a, a, a better one. Well, the thing is, if it's two, it forces Darren to draw. If it's one, mind you, Dad, Greg has got a bowl left, so Darren's going to have to draw anyway. He's going to have to draw. Probably follow follow him down and hopefully draw a shot. We follow him down with the outside. There he goes. Let's have a look at this line. Now, what is the pace like? He's got good weight. It should get down. What's the pace like? It's a fair effort. It's not quick. Looks a little quick. Good second, though. Not bad after a drive. You can go from a full-blooded drive to something within the, the foot region. Is is not bad. Two here would keep uh, Greg in in touch with winning the winning the set, or even sneaking a draw for the win. Urging it forward. One shot, Greg Harlow. Just the one. Disappointed with that, I think. To score two eight after six ends. What's your next thing after this, Jace? Have you got any other bowls, bowls things coming up? Um, running a Jack World Singles a Qualifier inch. next Sunday back in Scotland. So tomorrow night I dash home for work. Uh, on Friday and Saturday. Saturday after work I dash back to Scotland. Do the PBA Qualifier on the Sunday, then dash back to work on the Monday. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good start. And then we prepare for the World Championships, which is thoroughly enjoyable. Will be good. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's always a good time down at Potter's Resorts. My, my second crack. Just a, a, a lovely setup they have there. Yeah, superb, isn't it? And some magnificent food. Lots of it.
Lovely shot. Well played again. Lovely Gone up a few balls. gears, aren't you? Definitely. Got a little bit more consistent over the last few ends. Not left Greg on. I think he might try and peel these two away. So what's it like on the spot? It must have that spot, that bottom left one's we're looking at it now, no? I think they have a bowl each to come, so if, even if he does get it, you're giving, giving Darren probably two yards, three yards to draw a shot. Scott Waterford, the field, Waterfield, um, they can use whatever bowls they want and whatever colour shirts they want, so they both decided to use a red bowl. It's not like the worlds where it's uh, red or green. For not sure what reason, Jason. Broadcasting. Broadcasting. Bit continuity and broadcasting. They show up nicer on the the blue carpet. I think this is just uh, they they can use any colour because it, it shows up quite nice on the green carpet. Darren. Grimmest a bit. You can never tell it, Darren. Don't don't take that as Don't take the grimace. <laughs> Stuart calls him Churchill. <laughs> I think he was right with that one. Not sure if he was trying to cover the spot. <laughs> nope. Doss. The so. score two ten after seven ends. Two ten. Two full houses needed. <coughs> Is that three or four ends on the trot to, to Darren? Uh, no, because Greg won the Greg won the last end, didn't he? Okay. Because that Darren had the last ball, but before then he put uh, four ends together. Four ends together. So one five out of four. Yeah. It's amazing how often just stringing Jack, a few ends meters. together gets you a, a, a comfortable lead. Momentum. And, um,
first comment from Aid. Thank you very much. Just trying to do my best to help promote and move the sport forward with the, the gang that will with the scenes. Long days, but worth it. It's a great setup getting bowls streamed so everyone everyone can watch it. Yep. Just making it trying to make it an occasion, a setup, you know, get the crowd in, get some sponsorship in, you know, there, but it's good. It's yeah. good to have a bit of atmosphere at uh, at bowls. The atmosphere is always good here. I mean tomorrow it'll be rocking. We've got um, live music tomorrow, singer. Oh, that'll be good. Yep. Wants to miss it. Wants to miss it. Oh. Still another bowl in the area. You know, it's all he's got to do is stop Greg getting four. You know, one, two, he's not really bothered about. It's just the, the big four he'll be uh, bothered about. Darren's bowl oh, is just starting to dip. On bit two. Of, bit of jack. Oh, oh, wanted to have landed on the other. He's still a chance, though. It's end up in a lovely home. Yep. Darren needs to play where his left little toe is. I'm a little different. In this position, I probably would just go one of the one of the Maroons just so he can't score a four. Go one of what? Just have a drive at one of the Maroons, oh, get it you? off the rink. So then he, he has no chance of getting that four. Uh, I don't know. I'd, I'd personally just draw just slightly past, slightly wide on the forehand. There are Aussies are a little little different, especially myself. I play quite an aggressive game. Played it pretty good here. Just needs to settle. Just needs to beat that one. Hasn't done. He's opened the door a little bit. Maroon. 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 Red. Same as a Lucasoid. Lucasoid. What do you call it? Lucasoid. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting drink. <laughs> well, he has a has a chance here. So, a little tickle on the pickle, 18 inches down this backhand. And there's the first of the two fours needed. I'm not sure he likes it. No, he's underneath, isn't he? Walking backwards. Yeah, just going for a toilet break, I think. Just underneath. Yep, it's just gone for a quick comfort break because he knows we're going into a three-end tie break. The th three end tie break shot, is Greg, on ends, not Driving shots. Out. Up. When's the second set? No, no. out. When's the second set? 10 3. Match tie break. So, Greg won the first set 11 10. Darren definitely bounced back to take the second set 10 shots to 3. And we're going into a uh, tie break. And already into the semi-finals tomorrow, we have Jamie Walker, Stuart Anderson and Jason Banks. So we have uh, two Scots and an Englishman at the moment. So here's a couple of shots from the game so far. Just a slightly off-target drive there from Darren, but he gets the result. Plays one bowl onto the other and that made a pair. And then he was played a nice draw shot to make a third. Just see here, this is the difference in this second set. Darren has really dropped on his game and dropped on a length, playing some good quality stuff. Also though, don't forget the firing shots. This was a cracking shot, slightly underneath, but peels them away. And here we go again, it just shows you the ability of Darren Bennett. Has all the shots in his book, looking for the, the double contact there. 
Darren Burnett won the toss. This was yet Darren another draw the from the, the first time. Second set. Um, Darren Burnett, yes, we're back here. Darren Burnett has uh, won the toss and has given the jack to Greg. That is the rules. Whoever wins the toss for the tie break gets to choose to keep or give the jack on the first and the third end. And the player that loses the toss will have the choice to keep or give the jack away on the jack second. 24 and a half metres. First two tie break ends are exactly the same. You still can't kill it. It goes on the respot. If it gets to a third one, well, we can go through the various different uh, rules. Um, Julia, will you play live music during the final? Unfortunately, we're not allowed due to copyright. This is another difference between the Australian games and the, uh, the games in the UK copyrights and costs of copyrights are astronomical we're not allowed to unless we've got a license which is rather expensive yeah. looked into it a few times but just uh, out prices us unfortunately would I like it? yep I think the players would like it everyone would like it but, uh, it just costs a lot of money so here we go. He's going to show the cards first. Good ball from Greg, but Darren's beaten it. Good start so far. Five inches. Five inches gap. Does Spike still play a lot over? Was he? Uh, Kirko? Yeah. Uh, he does. I think he's still playing. I'm not not a hundred percent sure where he is playing, but uh, I'm pretty sure he's still playing. Just looking to beat this with his second. Thank you for that, John Fleming. Kelvin is still at Tweed Heads. Alrighty. I wasn't 100% sure. Five inches. Five inches. Greg Harlow coming down for a look at the head just to see what he's got to do. Remember, it's just the first play to win two ends. It doesn't matter whether you're scoring ones or two. So it's not really about building the head up. It's just about getting shot all the time. Sometimes it becomes a little bit more aggressive than the normal play. Let's see. A little bit more tactical. Yep. Because, I mean, as soon as you get in, you think, mm, where do I put it? Where's best to put it? You can what sometimes cover? talk yourself out of something. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, definitely. Well, Greg... <laughs> Wants to put the brakes on. Again, good line. I think Darren will just try to try to nail one. He's got last ball, so he can draw to wherever it springs to. Two balls. Right, it becomes a game of chess. <coughs> Figure out what Greg's next move's going to be. Some players are more predictable than others. Whoop. I was a little surprised he didn't change his hand with his third ball. He had that red one to, to land and lay in. Obviously, backs himself on that side of the green, maybe a little bit more than the other one. Yeah, 
I mean, the forehand is the slightly swingier hand. You know, the backhand, I mean, the mat is right up, isn't it? It's shortish, not minimum, but quite short. So it's just looking at losing 18 inches, really, with this bowl. Well, Greg wants to throw the anchor out or pick the jack up. Lays down. Oh, it's not. First and two. Darren. Won't need to send his last ball. First and Darren so Burnett. For the first time in this game, Darren Burnett goes ahead 1 0 in the tie break. Play 29 and a half metres. Greg's choice of Jack is given to Darren. Well, Greg, just looking to meet his last. Just like to thank you all for dropping in and staying with us. Three thousand on the two streams. Thank you for your support. Hope you're enjoying this really great game. Two-sided game, really. To be fair. Needs to, to do. Run, yeah, needs to run. Clear run. Even underneath, I think it'll bend away. <sighs> yes. It's a bit of a loose one. Just hear a sigh there. You know, it's, uh, it's Darren's choice of length as well, isn't it? So. Get back. Hurry a little bit. Oh, Darren. I changed Darren's shot a little bit here. Might might be thinking of forehand runner. Try to sink it. Maybe try to kill it to the right. It's only the second end, so it will be respotted if he does kill this jack. You know, like you say, you can blast blast through the front or you can play the more difficult backhand shot, get down, work off the balls, get to the jack. 
He's not, he's not liking it. He's shaking his head. Yeah. Forehand is a little bit of... Got a few options forehand. Your short one through. <laughs> They're just so far away, aren't they? You've got to hit it, but I mean, because it's end over end, you really don't really know where they're going. Nah. I think it's one of those, those those ends where you go bit of line, bit of length, and hopefully a bit of luck goes your way, and you you end up with shot maybe. It's going middle of the jack in the ditch. Looking all right. Just to middle the jack into the ditch. And going, where's the connection here? No, one Ooh. to Greg. We're going all the way in this game. Going to the last end. Second end, Greg Harlow. So, last end of the tie break. The rules change ever so slightly. This is the only end in the game where you can nominate to kill the end. But you must nominate it before you send it. Uh, you can nominate as many times as you like, but you can only kill it once. So you can nominate all four balls if you like. Once you have killed it, then that's it. All your nominations are all done. Those new people on the stream, when you kill the jacket, it means it goes out the sides past the rink marker. So you can see the little white yeah. rink marker there. Yeah, that's that's nice. very, very good sportsmanship yeah. right there. Shaking hands for the, for the last end. That's yeah. good. That's what we like to see in bowls. Good sportsmanship. Darren's giving the jack away. Keeping it back this time. Hmm. I think Greg might be going long to try to take out uh, Darren sinking the jack if okay. he gets a close one. Got that first hand, I got a couple of close ones and he just absolutely nutted the jack into the ditch <laughs> and sat right on top of it and couldn't couldn't beat it. So jack length thirty point five meters. Does have a deadly drive, Darren. We'll do the live draw for the semi final ties after this game. Semi-finals are 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock. <laughs> That's the one to beat for the win. Green. The gap is four inches. Came back very well down there with that perfect pace. Right to the end. Came late but came well. One by Greg. <coughs> Aaron coming for a look after the first ball. I think he's just looking at the exact positioning of his ball. You know, it's okay. really, really important. And I think he's just looking at, you know, if the jack goes past, if it does go past his ball, what what angle in the ditch is it going? Sorry, maybe. Go. Yep. I think so. I'm not 100% certain. The only problem is obviously one in. They can just wing it off. That's where they're not a lot. A lot to play for, place in the semi final. It's a, it's a big end. Oh, it's not, not, oh, that's okay. I thought it knocked him in then. 
Still wants it, Darren. It's given Greg a closer, closer second shot. So Greg is nominated Greg here to nominated kill. To kill the end with this ball. So if the if he kills it, it won't go onto the respot. The end will be replayed. So he's going for ideally, chip the bowl away. If he lands on the jack, well, could go absolutely anywhere. Trusted forehand runner inside edge of the map. to hold needs to hold now this is where Darren has about 536 things in his head where does where I put it do I I think he'll be drawing to try to finish maybe a foot short on the line it's gonna have to be center line to, yeah to try to stop the the kill I think all Greg has is the kill I uh, foot short on the line maybe two feet short on the line He's got one spot. Greg's got that one there. If he doesn't nominate to kill, he'll have a look. I mean, I think he will. Just for the fact that he's not certain where the jack will go. Made his mind up. He's saying to Greg, you go ahead and hit this. He's going for cover. Alrighty. If he bends, he's going to finish perfect because he'll also get a second. But if Greg peels him off. Ricardo is nominated, nominated to kill the end with this ball. Peels him off, then Darren's under, under the punt having a draw within a foot and a half. So he's nominated again. So this ball to stay in this Scottish International Open. and his last and slightly quicker it's going quicker I think he's wide he's just not getting back I think he's wide he is third end and match Darren well Burnett. what a comeback for Darren Burnett there he takes that tie break to one <laughs> fantastic game so we have our four semi-finalists for tomorrow that will be Darren Burnett, Jamie Walker, Stuart Anderson and Jason Banks. We're going to do the draw in a few moments' time and we'll find out what that looks like. Thanks for joining me tonight again. Thanks, Jace. Thanks for having me tonight. Well, everybody on the stream here, I'm afraid that is all we have time for for this evening. So from everybody here at the World Balls Tour from Scotland, it's a very good night. Bye-bye.